your child's pandas symptoms are getting worse under stress, let me show you why. I've had the awesome pleasure of working with hundreds of kids with pans pandas, and also my own son had pans from a mold issue. So I, I get this, I experience this over and over again. And one common thing that I will see is a kid starts doing really well, we get inflammation down, we start you know, addressing mitochondrial issues and energy production issues, which we're gonna talk about here. But then what happens is a lot of times they'll go back to school or they go to an, uh, another stressful environment, whatever that may be, and they start flaring like crazy. And it's a really important thing because stress for these kids completely changes their brain. And I want to talk about that in this research study here. It's from uh, the Journal of Clinical Medicine from 2019. And it's to me, it's kind of funny because your primary doctor, whoever, you know, you might have heard that, oh, pans pandas isn't a thing or whatever it is. There's hundreds of research articles, and we even know a lot of the environmental effects of this as well. There's obviously a lot to learn, but there's so much we know. So uh, let's jump into it. Adverse psychosocial experiences have been shown to modulate individual responses to immune challenges and affect mitochondrial function. And actually it affects mitochondrial function in complexes four and five. So we have inside of our cells, we have what are called mitochondria. We have complexes in there that eventually what happens, we spit out energy or ATP. Our brain needs energy. Many, many, many research articles will show that when kids have autoimmune issues, when kids have autism, ADHD, development delays, they will typically have mitochondrial dysfunction or energy production issues. Not genetic mitochondrial dysfunction, but a true functional issue in our mitochondria. And what happens is we can't produce energy efficiently and therefore our brain can't function efficiently. And so the first thing from my aspect is I wanna get energy back to the brain. I wanna get energy upregulated. We use lasers to do this because lasers have been shown through hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of research studies to increase function of complex four and five in our mitochondrial respiratory chain. So we use that to upregulate energy, to give energy to the brain so the brain can start to heal more efficiently, number one, but number two, it, we can start producing actual impulse control because we get more energy to our frontal lobes, it can function more efficiently, create impulse control. So that's really cool. Big thing here is our results indicate that psychosocial stress exacerbates individual responses to GAS administration. So group A streptococcal infection. And the present data supports the hypothesis that challenging environmental conditions in terms of chronic psychosocial stress may exacerbate long-term consequences to this exposure process through the promotion of central immunomodulatory and oxidative stress. What I want people to take away from this is really simple. It's not just the infection. It, we need to get rid of the infection, right? It's not just that we need to take care of those things. We need to look at environmental stressors for these kids, psychosocial stressors for these kids. We need to alter that environment to get your kid healthy. And this is exactly what I did in my own child, is I altered the environment and now he's functioning completely normal and he's healthy again. And I want people to realize that you have the power to change it. It's not your doctor, it's you. You have the power to change the environment, to get your kid out of the moldy environment, to get their immune system healthy, to change their immune system so that they can adapt to stress and to help them rebuild their nervous system through neurodevelopmental activities. You have the ability to do it. It's just learning and growing and helping your kid.